Hello, scholars. This week we're going to create a project using the principle of design called balance. What we're going to do, we're going to have our paper vertical. Our names are on the top, either left side or right side. It does not matter. Flip it over. And first we're going to do, if you have a ruler at home, you can use a ruler. If not, you could use a piece of paper, the side of the paper, and draw a straight vertical line going down the paper. Draw light with your pencil. Do not draw dark because if you draw dark, you want to be able, the line will be shown still on the paper. Now we're going to draw an oval shape on the top. This is for our insect that we're going to draw today. So curve line on the bottom, make a curve going towards the top, swoop around, and that is our curve line. Now have to see if it's even, because if it's not even, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to fix it, which I'm doing right now. I'm just erasing all the extra lines and see I'm just pressing my pencil light I'm not going too dark because you're going to be erasing a lot because we want to make it as proportional as possible and there's going to be lots of lines that are not needed we're now going to move on to step number two which is to draw a oval shape down the paper I'm going to stop at one half and then draw the other half of the bug. And want to make it as even as possible. And this is what creates balance and proportion. Now it's starting to look like an acorn. If in the in the full time we have acorns falling from the tree, it looks should look like an acorn. Now what you're going to do is move on to step three, which is the bug's legs, two front legs to be exact. We're going to first draw a diagonal line going up to the side, then make a small uh, diagonal line here, and then go down. Now we're going to make a curve line here and then a curve on the side. Now what you're going to do is draw a half and then the other half. Yep. So we have half and the other half. That's looking good. It's looking real good, actually. So now we have one, two lines that are diagonal, um, that are vertical inside of the arm, and then the curve shape on the top. Now, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side to make it balanced. So we have to. I'm gonna make a mark here, and you could do that with your ruler. And now I'm going to make a diagonal line going upward all the way up. I'm just making sure that I'm going to keep going up. Looking good so far. Now the other side. So take your time when drawing the arms because we want to make it as proportional as possible. And then here is the curve line over here. Curve. So two curves parallel to make the bug. Alrighty, now we're gonna move on to, but before we move on, I've noticed that this side 
It is a little bit elongated, so I'm gonna make it shorter, a little bit shorter on the sides. And I'm gonna keep erasing, so make sure that when you do make a mistake, you want to draw very light. Now we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to draw the uh, middle of our insect. And we're gonna make, we're gonna stop here, make a line, make another line, then it is curved. All right, now we have the two, and then we have one here. And I'm going to make a line, little dot here, little line to show what to do, what, um, where to put the lines. Okay, that should be, yep, that is good. Making the line inside and another line inside. Same thing, curving the line. Yep, we are curving around. Great. Now we're making the last leg for the insect. Next, we'll go towards the bottom of the of the body of the insect. So, same thing around the same size. We want also the legs to be spread apart. So, make sure that your insect is spread apart. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And it has to be even. Okay, so now that we're done with the legs, we're gonna move on to a little bit more of a tricky uh, step. This is step number six. Step number six, we're gonna draw two big ovals for the insect wings. How we're gonna do this, we're gonna go, we're gonna start from the body, go from the legs all the way down. And then I'm going to go all the way to the line, not touching the line, but going all the way to the line. So that's one. Now, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. And that is the same thing. So be careful. This is why I, I said to draw light. We want to draw light because to show the lines and extra lines that you're gonna be erasing, because you're gonna be erasing a lot. Okay, and then the, the side. See, I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing. Because I wanna make sure that the actual sides are even. Okay, now that the sides are even and I have my wings, I'm gonna move on to step number seven. Step number seven is to draw the insides of the, of the wings. So which means that the lines of the, of the wings. 
So you're probably wondering, how am I, how am I going to do that? Well, you're going to start inside of the wing and you're going to draw all the way down a curve line. Same thing on the other side, on the left side. Start in the middle of the wing and draw a curve line going down inside of the wing. And then you're going to draw a small curve line. For the inside of the wing. This part looks a little bit confusing, but if you follow the uh, Google Slides, uh, it's in red. All of the parts are in red if you are still confused. Now, what you're going to do is draw the curve line for number step number eight. So a curve line and a cur another curve line towards the bottom of the wing. And then you're going to draw a curve line and another curve line. Now for the final step, you're going to draw two circles for the eyes. You're drawing two circles for the eyes of the insect. And then after you're done, you're going to outline. Before you outline, Erase this whole line in the middle. So you're just going to go down with your eraser and go ooh, all the way down. We don't need that line anymore. And here's our drawing. Now, um, I'm going to use a black marker. You can use a gray or a brown or purple or blue something dark. Now for the wings, I'm going to start off with outlining the wings just to show you exactly what to do. So you're going to take your wing and go all the way and outline the wing. Now, like I said, if you do not have black, you can do this with brown. And you're going to outline the wings. So see how the lines are coming together. And see how even my wings are on the drawing. I want to make sure that they're all even. So if you have to, you can, and I, I will suggest you going a little outside if it's not even. Now, I'm going to outline the body. So find your lines you made for the body, which are inside. It looks a lot of overlapping lines. So you want to make sure that the body is still has that oval shape plus the lines that you have made. If you need to, you can as you're drawing, outline the body first, then finish the wings. Now I'm going to outline the hands, I mean the feet. Now what I'm gonna do is take, and I'm gonna just go and color in the parts. Now some of the lines are going to get covered and that's okay. It's overlapping. So see the lines are getting um, covered. Now 
Some of you are going to have this problem. So what I suggest is if you have a black crayon at home, you can color using the black crayon or this isn't a good idea making the lines longer making the lines longer because i made the lines longer see how my bug is be having more of a thicker line and more of a curved line. So you can do with black marker or crayon or color pencil. Now, like I said, if you're working with brown, same thing, same thing applies. And if you do not have the brown or the black, like I said, you can make you can make your bug, your bug blue or purple. I'm fine with that. As long as it's a dark color, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. As long as it is a dark color, I don't mind it being blue or purple. Okay. So now, see that there is showing the bugs legs. Now I'm going to show you this side only. I'm only going to show you this side because this side I'm going to do on my own off camera and then we're going to uh, focus on the background. Okay so now we're going to do is because there is lines and there's black and how that's going to work. Well, here's the body and I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to call this whole section using the Sharpie and now what I'm going to do is color the side same thing with the black Sharpie And then I'm going to take my, because it's inside, I'm going to take the black Sharpie and do he, and, and color here. Then what I'm going to do is, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my brown and just color in the both sides just to show that that's the body. Now you don't have to do this part. I'm doing this part to make it a little bit more like the body will stand out a lot more. Now you don't have to do this. You can just color the whole thing black and cover the line. That's fine. And then I'm going to color the rest of the body, which is going to be black. So the whole rest of the body will be black. And then I'm going to, I'm going to finish coloring everything with black and the eyes orange. So here is the uh, bug completed with the black, the orange, and I added the brown in the middle to contrast from the body and the wings with the green background.